Hi everyone, today uh, first, this is Dr. Salali and today we're going to uh, deal with animal anatomy. Okay, we're going to see together different uh, systems, different organs and we'll speak about uh, physiological process, processes sorry, of those different systems. Okay, so let's start with the first slide. We start with the skeletal system and as an example you have the cat skeleton just as an example okay and um, there we there are many um common points between the different species so uh i guess you know that uh, the uh, skeleton is composed of the skull uh, you have vertebrae you have uh, what else? Uh, the ribs, uh, pelvis, the bassin, okay? You have uh, the different bones, okay? Phalanges, and so on, okay? And they are um, related, they are attached, let's say that the muscles are attached to the bones, okay? So, uh, in the skeleton system, you have first the bones, of course, on which there are stick the muscles, okay, obviously the muscles, and you have ligaments as well as tendons, okay, and we are going to see the definitions of those words in English, of course. So we don't focus on the different bones because you've already studied them, uh, just to know. Um, when it is uh, differently named in English, for example, for the skull, <laughs> sorry, which is uh, le crâne, you have to know it, okay? The ribs, for example, uh, which are uh, les cotes, you have to know them, okay? And so on. But the others, uh, I'm not going to focus on. So let's see the definition, the definitions together. A ligament is a band of fibrous connective tissue that connects one bone to another, okay? So here it is to link between two. So once again, a ligament is the fibrous connection between two bones. Whereas a tendon is a band of fibrous connective tissue that connects muscle to bone, okay? So the tendon is what relate uh, muscles to the bone, okay? And the, 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 the nature of the type of tissue, it is fibrous. Fascia is a sheet of fibrous connective tissue that covers, supports, and separates muscles, okay? And in French, ce sont les fascias. Now let's speak about uh, different types of muscles, okay, you have here an illustration of, and uh, I guess you know them, they are skeletal muscles, smooth muscles, and cardiac muscles, okay? So the skeletal muscles, they are striated muscles, okay, but they shape, they, they are striated, they um, contain lines, okay? It is about the shape, they, they are called striated, okay, and about their uh, physiology or functioning, they are voluntary muscles, okay, that we can manage them, okay. Um, we can decide about the, their functioning, okay, and the, their role or their main function is the motion, okay, to um, let the body move, okay, say le mouvement. Smooth muscles are different from in the way that they are unstrited, okay, they don't contain any lines in their shapes, um, and they are involuntary uh, because we don't manage, we don't decide if they have to work or not, okay. Uh, they are manage, managed, sorry, unconsciously, okay. Uh, therefore, they are called involuntary, and in general, they are. Uh, visceral okay uh, we find them in the stomach intestine uterus and so on okay 
about their function, they are unconscious. Uh, they have an unconscious, sorry, functioning. And they exist in the internal organs, as I have said. Okay. You have, um, finally, the cardiac muscle, which is in between. It is striated and involuntary. And it is very specific because it is related to uh, the heart and the contraction of the heart. Okay, I hope it's clear and I move to the next slide. In French, to sum up, in French, uh, those are uh, le muscle squelettique qui est strié, uh, so skeletal uh, striated muscle, and you have les muscles lisses and volontaires. Um, smooth muscles and the muscle cardiac. Now we are moving to um, digestive system. So the digestive system or alimentary system or we can, those are synonyms, we can call it uh, gastrointestinal system too. Are those are terms used to describe the body system that is a long muscular tube that begins at the mouth and ends at the anus. So it is, uh, once again, the long muscular tube that starts with the mouth and ends at the anus. And it is the digestive system, which is responsible for the intake or the ingestion. Those are synonyms, intake or ingestion of food. intake of food, okay? And the digestion of food and water and the absorption of nutrients and the elimination of solid waste products. So those are the rules of the digestive system. And here we're going to see the steps of digestion. So, chewing, c'est la mastication in French, and you have also the synonym in English. Um, chewing is also called mastication, okay? Those are synonyms. It makes food easier to swallow, pour être avalé, to swallow, c'est avalé, and can increase the surface area of food particles or ingesta. So the ingesta is the material taken in orally. Okay. In French, the ingesta c'est le bol alimentaire. So we start our di digestion by chewing or masticating the food. Okay. The process of swallowing le fait d'avaler is called deglutition. Okay. So once again, you have synonyms. So you can, you have to keep them. Uh, the process of swallowing is called also deglutition. So swallowed food, whenever you deglutate, the food is going to pass from the mouth, the mouth or the oral cavity, the oral cavity or the mouth, to the pharynx, as in French, le pharynx, and then to the esophagus, okay? The esophagus, say l'osophagie, obviously. Okay. We move to the next slide to carry on about digestive system. So here we are going to see together uh, the first portion of digestive system. And we start normally by the oral cavity, okay? Obviously. So you have the oral cavity of a dog as an example. I repeat each time it is an example just to uh, make you know uh, how to call the different organs in English, okay? So you have the tongue, say la langue, the tongue. You have the teeth. So here, pay attention. Uh, you have one tooth and a lot of teeth, okay? You have tooth and teeth, and the word doesn't take S in plural, okay? 
you have um, yes the the glands that interfere in mastication in salivation they are the salivary glands and the are they are uh, four you have four different salivary glands you are not obliged to keep uh, their names but just remember that you have four uh, salivary glands and you have of course um, after uh, mastication the food is going to be swallowed so it flows over the pharynx it's going to pass over the pharynx okay uh, 